network flight. We have, we've got TV now, flight. Capcom, we're getting something. Hello, Houston, this is Apollo 8. We have a television camera pointed directly at the Earth now. Flight and network, the uh, stations report a good sync pulse, but no live. Roger, uh, Frank, we're uh, picking something up on our TV. Uh, it's not very good so far, but say it's but no live video. Video. And we'll have more we're getting a good sync pulse, but no live video at this time. Okay, it's coming into view now, Frank. Here we go. It is? Yeah, we have it in the corner of our screen. You're slightly off on your pointing, but we're getting a, a yeah, good look at the corner of it. What are they reporting now? Fly to come, that's it right there. It's moving off, Frank. It's, it's moving off our 3 o'clock uh, on our TV screen. I have no idea what to tell you about which way to point. It's moving further away. We've lost it now. sink and all that. Right, just not right. in the field of view. Okay. Okay, uh, we're just picking it up at 3 o'clock on our screen. Okay. It's moving up toward 1 o'clock and in toward the center. Keep it going in that direction. Okay. It's looking better. You're, you're holding up about 1 to 2 o'clock. Looking better. Give us a little more in that same direction. You're down at 3 o'clock now. We see about half of what you see. Too much. It's disappearing at our 5 o'clock. Now it's coming back. It's half off screen at our 2 o'clock. And it's disappeared off to our uh, 3 o'clock. It's coming back in now. It's uh, headed toward the center of our screen. Mark, it's right in the center of our screen. And just hold her, hold her steady. It's really looking good. Okay, we have it. What you're seeing, Mike, is... Uh Uh, used to what you're seeing is the Western Hemisphere looking at the top is the North Pole. In the center, just lower to the center is South America. All the way down to Cape Horn. I can see Baja, California, and uh, the southwestern part of the United States. There's a big fog cloud bank going northeast. Covers a lot of the Gulf of Mexico going up to the eastern part of the United States. And it appears now that the east coast is cloudy. I can see clouds over uh, parts of Mexico. The parts of Central America are clear. And we can also see the light bright spot of the uh, subsolar point on the light side of the uh, Earth. Now, Roger, could you give us some idea about the colors? And also, could you try a slight maneuver? It's disappearing. Uh, we think about half of it. It's going off to our 12 o'clock. Now it's going off to our 3 o'clock. Uh, that's the wrong direction. Yeah, that's a good direction. We need another small correction to bring it to our center screen. If you could maneuver uh, toward the Terminator, we're, that's the part of it we're missing. We're getting the, the lighted portion. There you go, that's fine. Stop it right there. Okay, for colors, the waters are all a sort of a royal blue. Clouds, of course, are uh, bright white. 
The reflection off the Earth is, uh, appears much greater than the moon. Uh, the land areas are generally a brownish, uh, sort of dark brownish uh, to light brown in uh, texture. Many of the vortices of clouds can be seen of uh, various weather cells. And that long band of uh, appears serious clouds that extend uh, from the entrance to the uh, Gulf of Mexico going straight out across the Atlantic. The Midwest. The Terminator, of course, comes Gulf through the Atlantic Ocean right now. The wing has a slightly better quality picture, south. but it will interrupt about three Southern seconds if we switch. The almost completely clouded over. I don't know. And, I think uh, that's where we go. There's quite a few clouds. Okay. South, uh, southwestern you Texas. You're recording, Dancer. And southwestern Texas. You're recording. Okay. I'd say there's some clouds up in the northwest and over uh, in the uh, northeast portion. Roger, could you maneuver toward the Terminator again, please? A little bit more. Stop her right there and hold it. It uh, keeps slipping up a little bit. Could you maneuver slightly more toward the Terminator? Uh, we're getting about half the Earth, Frank. Uh, the top half of it, our top half, which includes the uh, the dark portion, is obscured. Flight GNC. Go. How's the definition? Time of to go to about 3:47 in yaw. Looks pretty good. What'll that do for him? You got to put it down in the middle there. Can you can you see uh, cloud patterns at all? What's he got now? 3:49. Uh, that's affirmative. Okay, Jensen. Are you still seeing it, Justin? Uh, we're seeing it. Uh, we're, we're missing the uh, the portion of the Earth that's over towards the, the the Terminator. The dark portion of the Earth is uh, we're, we're not picking up. We're getting about three quarters or four fifths of the rest. Of it. Uh, Roger, I'll move it and uh, tell me when I'm getting uh, better or worse, please. Good. Stop right there. Now that's, that's worse, uh, Bill. Go, go back where you were. You made it disappear to our 3 o'clock. Now it's coming back. Okay, stop right there. Now you're back where you were, and we need a motion that's about uh, 90 degrees to that last one you gave us. That's the wrong 90 degrees. 180 degrees away from that one. Stop right there. Okay, now uh, we've lost a different half of it. I need a, a motion 90 degrees to that last one. That's good right there, Bill. That's good right there. Flight Capcom, I got a suggestion to use a polarizing filter. You want to try that and see if it changes anything? Yeah, go ahead. Apollo 8 Houston, if you can uh, stick your polarizing filter uh, in front of the camera without disturbing anything else, it might improve the quality slightly. Okay, the polarizing filter is in front.
How's it now, Mike? Oh, it's still looking good. That didn't uh, make much of a change one way or the other, but in general, it's, uh, considering how far away you are, it's looking excellent. Capcom, you got any other suggestions of what you want them to try here? Well, I hope that everyone enjoy the picture that we're taking of themselves. How far away from Earth now, Jim, about? about 